All right, guys, so we're going to be making a dress using Divine Cut. It's also very, very simple. You just create a top and then customize the dress from there. So select your character and create a top and position the points, the neck, the chin, the nipple, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, and the pelvis. So click on generate top break and you can scale the neck circle, however big you want. Uh, the shoulder circle as well. Come on, you may want a small shoulder area here. And the bicep circle, I'm just gonna make this area large like this. And for the waist circle, since it's a dress, we're gonna pull this all the way down, scale it up like this, however big you want the dress to be. And that's okay. So click on generate top and it will create a top like this. So now you can sculpt it to adjust it. So I'm going to sculpt mode and inflate the back area here just to sort this out and the first area here you can see it's a bit too far forward so i'm going to use the elastic brush to pull this area just to make it neater now i'm going to check the front make sure nothing ripped open if it ripped open like this you can simply push it back together um, that is because we're using a mirror modifier uh, sometimes it can rip open but that's also a style if you want to rip it open from the top that's also pretty cool. Um, so for this dress, we're just going to try to sculpt this area a bit more. So I'm just going to make it a bit wider and spread open this region. Or you can do it in edit mode and that way um, you don't get all the ripping. Well, you do, but you can, it's easier to fix. All right, I think that's okay. Then from the side, let's make sure it looks okay. And when you're done, if you press play, it drops onto the character like this. So for a dress, you may want to snatch the waist area. So in edit mode, you can select these vertices and shrink wrap them onto the character's body by clicking on this pin icon beside shrink wrap. You can also paint shrink wrapping wherever you want uh, to shrink wrap onto the character like this. And if it's not looking very, very neat, you can also paint smoothing. onto those regions and it will smoothen it out okay so when you press play now um, this is how the dress is so far but you can also paint inflation reduce the strength set the weight to one and wherever you paint now will kind of pinch onto the character it will shrink that area during the simulation so when you press play can see it pulls in a lot more and you can increase the quality steps here to about 20 so that will calculate better and we can also increase the weight because you can see the cloth is very very stiff kind of like paper in a way so if you increase the weight to about 0.5 and press play you see it drops down a lot more but we do have something going so from here you can kind of customize it as much as you like. The geometry is very, very easy to work with. You can go into edit mode. If you don't want sleeves, you can press L on the sleeves and press X, delete faces. And you can uh, move this back area more and pull it down if you want. Uh, let's do this in edit mode so that we don't lose the geometry. going to sculpt mode and just pull it together you know what since it wants to rip open i guess we're gonna go with that style you can actually join the fit together like this but i've now been inspired to just open it up as a kind of style so sometimes you just uh you know get creative or allow the mistake to turn into something nicer um you can delete vertices if you like like this you can do the same for the front region since that mistake has inspired a style, um, we can delete this vertex and we'll see. And just open it up like so and press play. And that's something. You can also remove the seams by pressing Ctrl E. Select that loop, press Ctrl E, clear sharp. And that will clear that seam from there. And you can add seams by pressing Ctrl E, mark sharp. 
I'm just going to pull this sleeve, press G twice, and slide it. And I'm going to remove the seam from here, this one here. So press Ctrl E, clear shot, and press play. But yeah, that's basically it. From here on, you can do all sorts. Um, I'm going to enable the second subdivision modifier just to make it look smoother. And that is, there you have it. It's basically the workflow to create a dress using Divine Cuts.